Period action here in the second game of the tournament in Kamloops power play for the Wild for the next two minutes. Martin will have room to skate with this if she wants to. She has been skating it up today. one nothing right now for Kelowna. Chance for the Wild to tie this. Back into the zone. One minute 48 left in the power play. Here comes Martin. She's got Funfair with her. Funfar. Over to Funfar. She drops it. Funfar. Long shot in. Steer to the corner by the Oiler goalie. Funfar. Stolen by Kamloops. Up the boards. And Spencer will keep it in. There's Congo. Puts it to the front. Robert's trying to get there. Can't. Four comes out behind her own net. And Funfar takes it away. For Congo in front. Can't get a hold of that. Spencer keeps it in. Funfar skating back to place of defense here. 113 left in the power play. Funfar off the boards for Congo. Three Oilers there. That means somebody's open. And the Oilers get it. Wild really have to pass to each other on this power play. Pass for Congo that time from Roberts. Trying to get there first. The Oilers do. All the way down into the Wild zone. 13 turns around. That's Martin. Off the boards for Congo. Congo fishes it forward. Three Oilers skating back for it. Power play, you never want to give it away like that. You always want to pass to somebody if you can. Here's Haller. Looking for a person. Instead dumps it all the way down. Oilers will get that. Pile up at center lights with Haller. Victoria giving chase. Comes the Oilers on the sideboard. Spencer trying to keep it in. Victoria with a pickpocket. Victoria, regularly a goalie, she tries to turn around. Stops. Tries to put it to the middle. Spencer trying to help her. Kept in there by Funfar. Now Haller. It's going to clear the zone, and Funfar will put it right back in. Funfar, stopped by the Oilers, trying to clear it out. Victoria's going to get there on the sideboards. Victoria, off of four. Three Oilers there, two wild. This is a power play. Somebody's open. Panned at the point. Amanda keeps it in twice. Roberts turns around, going to try and get that. The power play is over, so it's five on five. Now back for six for the Oilers. Moving in and offsides. Eight comes out of the box and goes offside for the order. So 17.41 to play in the third period and the game. Stop time now. So the girls will get a lot of time here if they keep on the stop time to catch up from this one nothing deficit. Took a look at that last penalty. Again, if you uh, folks missed the first game, I told folks uh, start using Chrome if you're watching my feed anyway. Even if you're watching the feed from behind the net, if you're watching uh, Chris uh, Colgan's coverage, um, you start using Chrome and you can actually rewind and fast forward and uh, do it all in slow motion. So you're able to see things like that penalty in the end there, uh, uh, the last period where Olivia Clark got hurt, hasn't come out on the ice yet. Wild have changed up some lines. Hopefully it wasn't a head injury. But what happened was the player and, and Olivia were both going into the boards and the player gave Olivia a shove from behind. Got a three minute penalty for cross checking, but uh, as Olivia was about three, four feet from the board, she went crashing into the boards, hopefully not head first. Again, I don't know the extent of the injuries at this time, but if she did hit her head, she's probably done for the tournament. Coaches take no chances like that when it comes to player safety in their heads. You are what's in that head. 20, trying to dig it out. Langstrad gets it. Oh, slips over it, but Williams gathers it in and gives it to Spencer. Spencer playing forward at this point. Long shot in. Goalie's going to just steer that one to the corner. Nobody giving chase. Go get it. Go get it, Panda. Sorry for the yelling. Panda got it. Now off the boards. Excuse me, off of her legs. And they called her. Interference in front of the net. 20 was uh, all over Victoria in front of the net, and they called it this time. So for another two minutes or three minutes, depending on how they put this penalty up, the Wild are going to have a power play. Great chance to tie this thing up. Two minutes. Stop time then. We're going to play this stop time. Two minutes. Put it right back to the point if you get it. That's cleared. Martin has lots of room to skate here. She puts it up to Congo. Congo can't clear it, now does. Oilers number 12, probably their best skater, starts taking it up. And she'll have license to carry it on this power play. She does, goes to the inside, shot high and over, no field goal. 
Now Elliott trying to clear it out front. 17 puts it to the corner. Martin goes back to gather that up. She'll go behind her own net. She's watched by 10. She's got room out there. Gives it to Elliott. Elliott gives it to nobody. This might be an icing call, but Funfar is going to get there before it can be. The Oilers put it off the boards, clear the zone. Funfar is going to have to get back. Offside, now they're good. Giving chase, Elliott. And out of the zone once more. Congo putting it to the far corner. Wild playing the dump and chase here, five on five situation. Off the boards, comes out to Funfar. She gets a backhand on it, but the Oilers will eventually get a hold of this, and 11 gets the puck taken away by Funfar. Now still offsides, Elliott comes back, resets. And back to even. One nothing for Kelowna right now, 15.03 to play in the game. Wild still in this game, a chance to win it. Especially with the uh, power plays they've had the last couple of times around. Just have to connect on those passes. Now fun far, off the boards and down. That did hit a player, so it won't be an icing call. Oilers back to gather it in. Here's uh, 12, or as I call her, the blonde girl. She's a good skater. She'll probably carry this for a while. And that's just knocked away by Kate saying, no, thank you. We'll put it back here. Kate Funfar pushes the man aside. Nice work by Funfar using the body. The other player literally goes all the way around her. Funfar kicks it to an oiler. Nobody helping Funfar out in the corner. The Wild have to give their teammates an assistance. Puck right in front, banging out of this Elliott. The puck was free and open, but the referee blew that whistle. 14-16 left in the third period. Faceoff's going to be right in front of the... Euler goalie for Kamloops. Get it to Spencer, Panda, get it to Spencer. Sorry for the yelling. Panda tries to draw that back and it's knocked forward by Victoria. Now off the boards, go get it, go get it, go get it. Take it, Roberts. Good. Panda knocks that one back in. Williams, that is. Off the boards, that gets by Victoria. Victoria's gonna have to hustle to get out of the zone now. She does. And the Oilers move forward with it. Amanda back playing defense with Martin. Now in front, Olivia steers it to an Oiler and covers up that rebound, adding to her shot total. 13.51 to play in the third. Olivia, I don't think, was aware that there was an Oiler standing right in front of her, usually where her defense stands, and steered that one directly to the stick and then had to make two nice saves <laughs> to stop that from being a 2-0 deficit. Williams out to take the face off. 13.51 to play in the third. Here comes Williams. Passes it to herself, puts it forward, and that might be a shot on net, which means goalie touches it, no icing. Goalie playing it safe there. Williams keeps that puck in. Now off the boards, Williams will also give this player out. Just doesn't want that puck out of the zone. She's gonna try and keep it in. Williams is putting on a show here in terms of her forechecking. Now it's cleared from the zone. And again, I'm biased towards uh, Williams, but I'm also her harshest critic. I'm her dad. Oh, and a quick shot. Olivia has to stop that one and cover it up in front of herself. 13-13 to play in the third. Wild go for a change. It's 1-0 Kelowna Oilers. Clark's still not out there. Excuse the zoom, sorry. Let me try to fix this manually, there we go. Long shot. That was going wide. Colgan elects to steer it to the corner anyway. And here comes Haller. Haller skating it up. Funfar didn't see the pass was coming. And it's back in the zone. Here's number eight, backhand. Colgan covers that. No, doesn't, goes behind the net. That must have gone off the side of the net. Off the side of the net once more. A couple of shots. Over to the corner and steered out. Sorry, I tried to zoom in there to get the uh, puck and it was out of the zone by the time I got there. Colgan puts it in, excuse me, Congo. We got two Olivias and two Coles on the team. Shot, Kate tries to intercept that and can't. So she'll skate back. 18 puts it off the boards for eight. Haller turns around, doesn't see the puck is in there. Here's a breakaway opportunity, a shot and a save by Colgan. Point blank, two on O. And Colgan comes up with a big save to steer it out of there. Here comes Kate Funfar. 
In a chase, there's a slash, another one, and another one, no call. Congo trying to help out. Kate chasing the man, gave out a Tarzan yell as well as she was chasing the man down in the zone. Now over the boards for Congo. In the corner, two players there digging at it. Spencer as well, Langstra takes a uh, swipe at it. Off of a skate in front, picked up by the Oilers, and a shot in on Colgan, she holds on to that one too. Still 1-0, Kelowna Oilers with 11.37 to play in the third period and the game. 9.31 p.m. at night here. The girls played at 8.45 this morning. Now 12 hours later, they're on the ice again. Williams lines up for the faceoff. She's got Halloran behind her. No sign from Clark yet, still on the bench. Hopefully not too injured. Hopefully the coaches are just playing it safe with her. If I hear any updates at the end of this, I'll, uh, I'll keep the uh, tape rolling for the MVP awards. And if I hear anything there, oh, here comes Williams. Williams, defenseman spins around, so Williams goes to the outside, gives it back to herself, loses it for a second, instead backhand right on the net. Goalie will cover that up, taking no chances. Good hustle by Williams. 11-14 to play in the third period. Wild looking for that tying goal. Williams lines up. Going to get a shot on net out of this one, I think. No. Now it's back to Williams. Williams, long shot. That goes to a skate. In front, Elliott digging at it. Oh, here's an opportunity. Williams trying to get it. Can't. Roberts was in there as well. Williams back on the back check. Gets a piece of it. Martin back to collect it. Turns. Tries to put it forward, but the Oilers have it. Oilers, shot on Colgan, goes up into the mask, and then she grabs it in front of the net, right in the crease. With an Oilers standing there, 10.51 to play in the game. It's still a 1-0 game. Wild go for a change here. And no Clark. So it looks at this point as if Olivia is either hurt or being kept on the bench out of precaution. Fun for our playing center in her absence. Wild with just enough players to cover one loss. Of course, nobody wants that. Clark has the uh, Wild's goal in this tournament. May even be the leading scorer for the season. And certainly a great two-way player for the Wild. Speaking of two ways, here comes Martin. Loses that puck. Right near her own net. Spencer's there to help her out. But that puck is right to the side of the net. I'm going to zoom in here and see what's going on. Still battling around the neck. Net. And over to the corner. Wild. Trying to dump that out of there. There, now it's out of the zone and into safety. All three Wilds stay out there on forward. Behind her own net is the Oiler, plodding, looking down at the puck. Here's an opportunity to tip it away, and they do. Kate. Doing her thing once more. It's kicked forward and kept in by leg thread. Kate, long shot, off of eight. This is a rebound. Oh. Can't get to it. Here goes 19 the other direction. Langstrad didn't know the puck was there. Now turns and goes for it. She gets a piece of it, goes off a shaft, and the Oilers will try and dig it into the zone. Martin says, no, thank you. I'm putting it the other way. And Langstrad passes up for Victoria. Goes under her stick. Victoria chasing 20 down. 20, the player who molested her in front of the net earlier and got the two minutes. Martin over in the corner. Now for Spencer, off the boards. Langstrad going for it there, winds up to clear it and can't. In front of the net, Spencer lifts a stick. The Oiler there takes a swipe at it and it comes back to the point kept in there by the Oilers. Zoom in time. Oilers with pressure here late in the game, 8.57 to play. Spencer has it in the corner, being worked on by Oiler. That comes right out to the point. Wind up, shot, save. Olivia keeping this a one nothing game. Here comes Martin. She's got a maze of men to get through and can't. Two takes it away, puts it in. That's a shot, and it goes off the post and out the other side. Several of the Oilers celebrated, thinking that was a goal, but that was a poster that never went into the net. Referee right on that goal line, able to see that. Immediately waved that off as the Oilers were celebrating. Puck clears the zone. Oilers wait, reset, and back in. Kate Funfar. They've got to be tired now. Kate Funfar will clear that down. 
That'll go for icing, which is not a problem. They've got to change up. They've got to be exhausted. So 8-13 to play in the third period. Still a 1-0 lead for the Kamloops Oilers over the Washington Wild. Back in the wild zone. Elliott trying to clear it out there. Long dump back into the zone. Some of the girls saying, woo, kind of impressed with the backhand and making it all the way to the corner. Elliott spins, puck in front. Spencer gets by her. Here's Williams. Tries to clear that out, gets it to Elliott, helps her out and puts it down. Williams on the forecheck. In behind the net, blonde girl carries it through him. Gets past Victoria, trying to get around Spencer and does. In on the net now, shot, Olivia with the save, rebound, they score. Man was in the crease, might have been before the puck was there, but nobody protests. And so it's a 2-0 game with 7.34 to play in the third period. Wild have got to find a way to put the puck in the net now. Olivia obviously upset with herself on that one. Two nothing. Williams stays up to take the draw. She's got Roberts and Victoria with her. Pass up for Williams goes off the heel of her stick. Reaching for it, now Roberts. Roberts passes it back but intercepted by number eight. Eight working into the zone, saved there, pad saved by Colgan. Victoria turns and puts it forward. Victoria doing a really nice job on forward here tonight. Like I said, Victoria is typically a goaltender for us. She's played a couple of games out this season. Really impressive work from her so far. Spencer puts it off the boards. And Williams can't bring it in. Smart play. No, no, she didn't go. She didn't go offside. Puck didn't go in, but okay. So offside call without the puck going into the zone. It should be maybe at center ice. No, they're just that would actually be a detriment to the Wild. So the Wild didn't bring that in, but the offside was called. I mean, the linesman was right there, so maybe it came in and out really quickly, and I'm old. But here's 18. Taken away by Martin. Over for Congo. Congo putting it forward. Intercepted there. The Oilers moving it up. Martin gets it. Puts it in. Roberts turns to look at it, and it gets by her. Down for Martin. Back in her own zone. She's going to try and carry this here. Badly needed as a goal, and Martin's done a good job of carrying it up so far. Martin goes for a change. Here comes Congo. Pass cross for fun far. One-timer. Doesn't get far enough to reach the net. And it's a four-on-two for the Oilers. Funfar gets back to make it a four-on-three. Good hustle by Funfar. Oilers slow in getting that puck out of there. 18 in the zone, puts it through a leg. Spencer trying to clear that puck, goes through Haller's legs. Now fun far, slap shot, off the boards, that's going to clear. Side boards, Colgan working it there. Oilers come back in one more time. Haller has the puck, looking for a pass, doesn't have anybody, so puts it off the boards. And fun far clears the zone once more. They need to do more than clear the zone at this point. They've got to put a puck in the net. It's 5.39 left in this game. Without two goals, they lose. Offside, delayed. So the Oilers will reset. This is going to give Martin a chance to skate. Two, three steps, she's got some speed. Might lose the puck here, she does. Just got a little bit of a header there, but she got a good, good head of steam coming into the zone. Trying to make something happen there. Fun far. Trying to clear that puck up, taking down a man. Long shot, that goes wide. Again, right across the middle, and there's a man waiting on the other side of the slot. She just has to deposit it. Nobody covering her, so with five minutes left exactly in the third period, it's 3 nothing. and now the Wild really desperately need to put something in, and quickly. Five minutes to go in the game. The Wild have had some pressure off and on during this game, but unable to capitalize and bury that biscuit in the back of the net. 3-0 for the Oilers, five minutes left in this game. Down for Spencer. 
Spencer clears that puck up. Williams giving chase. That should have been an icing. No call. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she was over the line, but I didn't see any of the wild they could have gotten at. In Spencer's legs. Here goes Langstrad trying to clear it out. She doesn't. Williams will get it and does clear. Now off of Williams' pads. Over to 17 for the Oilers. In behind the net. Aller puts it back behind the net. 17 trying to dig it out front. That goes off of Spencer up into Olivia Colgan. She hangs on and gives it to the linesman. Linesman slash referee. They're, they're both referees actually at this level. Either one of them capable of calling an offsides or a penalty. Williams stays out there. The rest of her line comes out. So Clark's still on the bench. Funfar been filling in on center for her. At center, excuse me. On center, wherever. Victoria hustling here. On the back check. Eight's vulnerable for the... Uh, there it is. Gives it away. And Congo had it for a second there. Williams still out there playing center. Back on defense now. Watching number five. Keeping five from getting towards that puck. So Haller can pick it up. Haller. Up the middle. No, sorry. It went up the side. Turned to the middle. Excuse me. Didn't put that puck up the middle. Now back at her own net. Williams back there to tip it away. In behind the net. Spencer back. Digging it out in front. Colgan's going to freeze that on the side of the net. And it's 3.51 to play in the game. Still 3 nothing. Williams taking the face off. Out comes Roberts to join her on the wing. Uh, Spencer came out. I'm not sure where they want Roberts to go. Roberts going to play... Okay, no, sorry. You've got two defensemen out there. So Haller and uh, Martin are still out there. The Wild with only three defense in this uh, game. One of them gets injured, and it's, uh, it's a problem. Probably shoot Williams back to defense. Let's not even talk about that. Three, wide cut, and offside. See if we can get a shot of the clock there. Focus on that. 3.32 left to play in the game. 3-0. Kamloops Oilers, uh, they may be the Blazers actually, they've got the Blazers logo on them. I'm calling them the Oilers because they've got the Oilers colors. Knocked forward by Williams, but eight or six, uh, six I think, yeah, six eventually ends up with it. Eight's a little taller than her. Martin, back in her own zone, picking it up there, trying to dig it out, gets knocked down in behind the net, and Colgan has to cover it on the side of the net. Shot came out, might have been a, or sorry, puck came out, might have been a shot as well. 3.10 to play in this period and the game. New line coming out for the Wild. Funfar, Langstrad, and Elliott. Savannah playing right wing. Haller out there as well, and Spencer. Quick shot, doesn't get through. Now here's Blondie. High shot, that goes into the captain. She's going to knock it down and forward. Elliott trying to clear it out, she does. 18, reversing course, puts it across the line. Six picks it up there. Backhand shot, doesn't get through. Martin blocks that. Once again, into a skate. Martin and Funfar working in behind there. Goes to the opposite side. Haller gives chase. Haller, turning. Puts it back behind her own net off. The board's Elliot will get that. Elliot, trying to dig it out. And that's kept in by Blondie. Backhand, weak backhand. And Funfar manages to tip it away and out. Or as they say up here, oot. No idea what's happening down there. Now to the corner. Haller clears it there. Langstrad working it. And here comes Martin with an opportunity. One man to beat. Martin going to the outside. Here's Martin on a breakaway. Martin coming in. Shot and right into the goalie. Shot it directly into the goalie, rather into to the opening on the side of the net. That's something the girls just have to get used to with experience. Start looking at net to shoot to, not looking at the goalie. If you look right at the goalie, you shoot at the goalie. So a breakaway, good skating by Martin to get that, just couldn't finish it. Two minutes and one seconds, they need goals right now. Take chances, girls, here we go. Heavy on the forecheck, take chances. 
Face-off win by Amanda. Back to Spencer, who puts it into a face mask. Chaser, 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 take that puck. Panda with a little bit of a check there. Out of the zone. Here's a break, 17 on 17. And Spencer manages to lift that stick. A shot still from number 11 as a trailer. Olivia makes that save. Victoria in the corner. Tries to clear it, can't, four keeps it in. Back to the corner. Williams splits it to the corner once more. Corner doesn't help him. And here comes Martin. She's gonna carry this up. Carry it! Oh, sorry for the yelling folks. Martin goes to the bench, she's tired. Here's Amanda, carry it, get it in there. Off the skate, here's Panda with a shot. And that goes off a shin and wide. Amanda reaching in there once more. Congo trying to steal this. Comes up to 11, 11 will clear the zone. One minute to play in the game. Amanda's gonna get this. Chips it in. Now off the sideboards, and two carrying it down. Two across, winds up, shot, that goes off of Colgan, and behind the net. Now out in front again, and it's in the net. Looks like it hit the side of the net, or perhaps Spencer in front. I don't think it hit Spencer, I think it just hit uh, Colgan, and ricocheted off of her into the net. So that's a 4 nothing lead with 40 seconds left. Sadly, in the hopes of uh, winning this game, they're not going to score four goals in 40 seconds. Oilers celebrating on the ice. So it's all over, but for the post-game report. See if the Wild can pop one in here to break the shutout. Time to talk about uh, MVP candidates and uh, sportsman candidates. Certainly, I'd... I don't know if they do this, and I don't know who does the choosing, but I'd certainly uh, give Olivia Clark the Sportsmanship Award. Anybody who takes a shot like that and walks away from it, certainly dedicated. Haven't seen her out there in the third period. Hopefully she's okay. Be watching your email if you see this game. I'm going to load it up there tomorrow on Saturday. Can't load it up here from Kelowna because the internet's just way too slow at our hotel. But I'll load it up as soon as I get back into uh, Washington. So it should be up there by noon tomorrow. I'll shoot out an email as well. And the Kamloops Oilers Blazers, whatever they are, they're happy. I'm gonna pause and wait for the MVP awards. So Lulu Martin wins the MVP for the Washington Wild today in the second game of the tournament. She'll come away with a puck or a Tim Hortons gift certificate. Oh, and Savannah Elliott takes the Sportsmanship Award. I would have given that to Olivia Clark for hit, taking a hit on the rattle, or on the noggin. But it looks like a, Savannah's got the um, Tim Hortons card, so uh, we'll have to take Savannah out after this for donuts. Blondie wins the uh, MVP. And Sportsmanship is the goaltender. Well, that'll do it for the broadcast. I'm headed home. I'm going to go uh, to my sister's wedding tomorrow, so I won't be broadcasting anymore. This will be the last game I'm covering, but uh, we'll see you later on.